on WBKO, your hometown news leader. This is Midday Live. Also today, Stanley Sandler, creator of Bodabra. Now, you may have seen this on uh, QVC. Mm -hmm. You tune into QVC every now and again. But creator of the Bodabra joins us today with great do-it-yourself ideas for the holidays that even the most creatively challenged person will be able to that master. Would be me. Okay, excellent. I am definitely one of those people as excellent. well. Welcome back to Midday Live, everyone. Sandy Sandler joins us on the show today, creator of the Bodabra. It's great to have you here in town. You've come a long way to join <laughs> us today, and we really appreciate you being here. Now, if you're not familiar, uh, or maybe you are, the Bodabra has been featured. Well, you can get it at local craft stores. Yes. You can get it at local retailers, but QVC is a mm -hmm. place that uh, a lot of folks may have seen it. And first of all, where did you come up with this idea? How Frustration. Frustration. We make a bow, and we needed to make them. So what was the easiest way to develop our own bow maker? I think that's a great yeah. idea. So you're actually going to demonstrate how this I'm, is made. And I'm going to show you how we make. I, I say that this segment is for the creatively challenged procrastinator. Okay. Who needs to do their Christmas things really fast. They haven't done any decorating. You're now, speaking to a lot of us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have that feeling. So here, this can be a cute that little ornament. So simple. And this is exactly the same thing. The only difference is I just tied it up and I, I scrunched it and added that on top. So how many of these do you have? Because it looks like you've, you've kind of done a layering well, effect. I, you've done uh, something. What I did is I just put this in, then I put this in, then I put more. It's just just a and you lot. waited till the last minute, like you waited you had a couple of different colors and then you tied it exactly. up. Exactly. Gotcha. You'll okay. see here so kind easy. of what I'm going to do with this one. This is a chair oh, bow. And this one, this is one of my favorite bows to make. And we made the bow exactly the same way in this table setting that we did. Mm -hmm. And to sort of explain what we did with the table setting. And so I just, we're looking at this right here, the, kind of the table setting. Right. I took an old candle that I had around and then we just... Um, picked ribbons that would match okay and I Oops. made the bow exactly like I'm making this one which is basically you just take scraps and scrunch them into the bow down. These are beautiful scraps. <laughs> well you know it, they uh, look great and, and you're just kind of whenever you put this in here not everything is following right along the same you know no. line as all the other ribbon you're, you're organizing so it all kind of spreads out is that right? Well you know why I'm doing that is uh, we always have to fluff our bows and this just makes the I try to do everything so it's quick easy simple uh -huh. and the fluffing is probably what takes the longest time so I kind of try to do a little bit of it as I'm making the bow. Okay very easy and so all of this uh, you, you use the candle then for inspiration that was the kind of color right. that you were going with. Now you've gone, you've picked out all of your, your ribbon, and let's and see what this you is come from up an with. old silk decoration from last year, and I just cut it apart. What a great idea to use. Exactly. Whoops. So you see how I just lay everything in there, and uh -huh. that's what you, we did for the, for the ornament. And I just separate the ends, uh -huh. bring it around to the back, and tie it off. What a great invention. Look at and this. how simple. You can put that on a chair. You can put that on, on your a mantle. tree. You know, uh -huh. a lot of times I see, you know, Christmas trees and everything like that with, with the ribbons already on them, the bows and everything. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely beautiful. And I guarantee if you had gone anywhere and bought this already pre-made, you'd pay upwards of 30 bucks, 20 you bucks, would. depending on what it's attached to. But that is gorgeous. And the trick is that this ribbon I bought at one of the big wholesale stores, mm -hmm. and you're talking like maybe... 15 yards for under eight dollars really so we're not this is not expensive to make uh -huh. and a lot of it is reused and so. a lot and other than kind of cutting everything into the pieces that you want I mean we saw it right here I mean we're, we're working these uh, these uh, creations in under a couple of minutes exactly virtually virtually yes. nil on our time here so what else do you so have now for what us? I've done here is I've taken some chenille stems or pipe cleaners uh -huh. Very and festive. all I've done is I've just wrapped them and and just twisted them around. Uh -huh. And then I took some pony beads, which are just little beads you can buy whoops, at, <laughs> any, at any craft store. Okay. And I just weaved them on, and then I just shaped it into a Christmas tree. Isn't that adorable? And you can put a little pin. I forgot to put the pins up here. But but, but just uh, a little pin that you, uh, with, with a little bit of hot glue, what kind of glue do you use? Right, you can use glue or glue dots. Glue dots, okay. And Excellent. it makes a great gift. And here's another little one that I made. And it's just, they're just so pretty. It shows up better on your Of course. Now, these are great ideas. Something a little party favor if you're having some folks over. And I mean, this will go well into even the New Year holiday. Exactly. Uh, because all of these things are so festive. Now, I don't this know is much wonderful. Yeah, share that time? one with us. Okay, mm -hmm. now this is really, really simple. Let's say you're ha you want to just send out little Christmas cards or you're having a little need to party. Do that. Yes. So this, this is good. And you could even just do, if you, these are just cutouts. 
you can buy these at the craft store and they're just you just cut them you just punch them out mm -hmm. and what we've done here is just put glitter glue now these you could put in the center of your of your um plate mm -hmm. and just put the person's name on there so like and little play name settings card. yeah this is excellent very great I, all these ideas so so simple uh, you know, really creative. You're not putting a lot of work or time or money into these things, which is what people need right now. And they come out and they obviously look very, very beautiful, as we can see right here. So great ideas for your table setting, whether, uh, you know, this is part of your centerpiece. Right. And then the Bodever, I notice, also comes in a smaller oh, version as well. Oh, we have We can make little itty-bitty bows with it. Uh-huh. And um, so it's great, because you can use, like, eighth-inch ribbon. And what makes the Bodabra, um work is because there's springs. So I see. it adjusts. All right, excellent. Well, don't forget, you can uh, log on to bodabra.com to learn more information. And also, that's a great place for folks to go if they want to know where they can get uh, the Bodabra here locally because it is a little too late to probably order online but there are some yes. local retailers that'll carry this is that right most of the major retailers do carry it all okay. the craft retailers all right yeah. sandy appreciate you coming into town thank, thank you, you so much look forward to seeing you again very soon and we'll be right back with more midday live don't go anywhere